Hey, how's it going guys? JC here, and today we have a match against Pantheon with Thunderlords and Ignite. OP.GG runes and masteries will be on the screen. So, very common matchup, you guys have seen this before. Cloth armor, refillable, you can also go for health potion if you're not comfortable, and start Q. So what you want to do is eat the spears and let him go out of mana. Just don't let him auto attack you, and then he cannot actually kill you because he will run out of mana before he tries to kill you. It just, it's just not possible because you have cloth armor, you know, you can tank it out. But the moment you go up and auto minions and say if he autos you as well, then you're going to be in trouble. Unless he fights you in the minion wave. Oh, okay, that's annoying. I want to get that EXP at the very least, so this Pantheon knows what's up. This Pantheon's smart. I can't all in him, even with these three minions with me, because he blocks my attacks. And he also has Ignite Cheese, so he's going to win in that sense. So I just have to soak up the XP. Pop a potion here, because he did a number on me with those auto attacks. He also used a potion charge as well. I'll walk up when that minion gets low, just like so. As long as we hit level 2, I'm happy. Just keep Q healing, and we're good to go. Okay, there we go, level 2. Very nice. It's going to push into me very soon. And he should go out of mana. Alright, well, we chunked him out. But the problem is, he has so many potion charges. And he's going, like, hyper-aggressive, which is very strange, because I have teleport. So I can always just teleport back to lane as long as I don't die. So just keep Q healing, and we're good to go. The only thing about Pantheon is surviving early on. And that's about it. So you, he beats you early on. Simple as that. Plain and simple. Hopefully Ezreal doesn't come because that will be disastrous. I told him not to come. Be a slaughter. Okay, I'm not level 3 yet. So I want to hit level 3. ASAP. Alright, that's good. Ezreal goes away. That's really good. I don't want any ganks because if it... It could easily get turned on since Nidalee is always going to be topside at this timing. And also, Pantheon's just straight up stronger than us. And there's a big minion wave, so it's impossible to win. It's just asking to get double killed, you know. Even if Nidalee doesn't come, there's still a chance he could double kill us. Okay, very nice. We get everything. Let's see. He has no more potion charges, so once we hit level 5... But yeah, I told him this earlier, like, gank after 5, but no earlier. And then he comes earlier than that. So it's really annoying. Because look at that. After level 5, he's out of mana. So this is level 4. One more level, he's out of mana. Ezreal just has to walk in and kill. So now he can come. And by the time he comes, we should be level 5. And it's a free kill. He's oom. Um. So if he wants a free kill, go for it. If not, then I might be able to kill him. Once I hit level 5. He's like going out of mana. Okay, he's level 5, I'm level 4. So, I want to kill this cannon. And then go for him. Or actually take these out as well. Yeah, he's over here. Damn, I missed it. I missed my chance. I wanted to hit level 5 before I went in on him. But yeah, I thought I could kill him by going there, and I would have. If I stopped his recall, he would have been dead, 100%. But the problem is, I didn't kill him, or I didn't actually stop his recall, so this was really bad for me. If I knew I wasn't going to stop his recall, what I should have done is just not hit those minions and continue the freeze. That's what would have been the best play. Is he really going for me? That's so stupid of him. He's actually not going to catch me. And look, he's just going to miss minions. Oh, actually, the minions followed him. Wow. Okay, he somehow made the minions follow him so he didn't miss too much. So now I'm going to build items that can chase him down the lane. So boots and attack speed daggers. That's going to help a lot when I start chasing him down the lane. I don't think he's going to last too long. But yeah, Ezreal doesn't want a free kill and he didn't listen to me. So it's really annoying. To be honest, this lane is actually very doable. It's just surviving early on. And if you get even the slightest bit of help when he's overextended 24-7, then you're going to have a very easy time because once he dies early, he's completely useless. He's like a high risk and not so high reward. It's just super high risk though. And mediocre reward, that's what he is. Because if he snowballs, he falls off late game. So the reward's not great. I 
I might be able to just solo kill him later. But I need to run him out of mana. That's the problem. Is he can probably outdo me with his W. His W can cancel my auto and block the next auto. So he essentially blocks two autos with his W if timed correctly. Okay, just tell Karma that Pantheon is missing. Okay, very nice. As predicted, he went there. So the other important thing when you're facing a Pantheon is you want to make sure that you ping your team. The moment he goes down towards the river, ping missing right away and danger ping on top of your mid lane's lane. Like just on top of them. Don't ping just only missing on your own lane because most people won't see it. So you have to ping on top of their lane. That's the most important part. If you don't do that, it doesn't work. I want him to go out of mana. Oh, they want to gank. Got the slow off. This is the easiest gank in their lives. Seriously. Like, that, that's just how easy they just have to walk in. And that's it. It's a free kill because the moment he starts running for maybe two or three seconds, and I know he's not going to turn around, that's when I'll just press my W. And it's an absolute free kill. Like, it's so easy to kill him. Otherwise, he can't kill me either. So, as long as you play like how I'm showing... He, it's not possible for him to kill you. Just impossible. Absolutely no chance at all. The thing is, if he even falls super far behind, say if your strategy works so well, you got a gank early on and you just snowball, you can just leave it at cloth armor and maybe even build a Zerkers instead. Yeah, Ezreal just gave a free kill. Mm. So this is going to push back to me and I haven't used teleport yet. So I could very well have ran Ignite this game. Oh, okay. I have to teleport to this one. Mm. I have to ult this one because I'm gonna die if I don't. But I can heal up quite easily. So I'll take Scuttle in the meantime. And I get full fury. I go back to lane. Should be good to go. So, Pantheon has no Ignite. We'll know that for later. Bot lane just died. So, I want to just freeze this. If at all possible. And it's very possible with this big wave here. So, just pull it back. And then we freeze it. And now Pantheon will come back and lose a lot of minions here. Okay, that's a free kill for Ezreal. Okay, no. I guess he ran all the way. Okay, this is going to push back into his tower. And Panth, no ult. So we're starting to get stronger and stronger against him. Look at this. We're also out CSing by almost 20. So these are all very massive because we did that little freeze there. But it is scary because he did ult on top of us. So we do have to stay healthy. Okay. So he could be roaming bot, uh, he could be roaming mid rather. There's a high chance he's going mid. Yeah, there he is. I gave my mid lane a lot of warning and exactly which direction he's going to come from. So she's not going to fall for it. Right now I can 1v1 the Pantheon, I'm pretty sure. So let's just kill him here. Just like that guys, see? We outscaled him, we played out the early game, and then we beat him afterwards. He's going to roam, every pantheon will roam. If they don't roam, you kill him in lane. But if they do roam, you can cheese them in one of the bushes. Just have them both warded. Or at least ward one and stand in the other one. And because I know that I won't be needing ninja tabbies this game, I'll just keep it at cloth armor and build zerkers. But I'll keep that cloth armor until late game when I know that I'll Pantheon's just going to be completely useless. And then I'll sell it. 
But yeah, you don't have to go for ninja tabbies. You just have to at least have cloth armor against him. And also build it first item. It helps so much. If you build Doran's shield, it's not going to help as much because his spear is just pure physical damage. Hmm. Let's see. I should be able to get away. Very nice. I really wanted that tower, but looks like enemy got tower first, so that's really sad. He'll dive. I think he'll dive. Yeah, I got the slow off. GG. GG Pantheon. Yeah, he's trying to kill me. I still have ult. I just don't want to use it. I could just walk up to him and use ult, but not worth it. So yeah, with Pantheon, it's just all about... He will always be out of position just because this is just how the matchup is. He'll always be out of position and your W is like a secret weapon. Just make sure you get that right. Get that W correct. So if he runs away, you make sure that he's completely in full retreat before you use your W. Because there's no rush to use it. As long as you use it and successfully land it, that's all that matters. And he will go on retreat if you're high health and he's not going to be able to get a kill. If he goes all in, then you know, you just fight and you win. So it's just a win-win-win situation every single corner that you see it. Oh wow. That tower didn't redirect to me this entire time, that's strange. Okay, Nidalee could be here. Let's back away. I split bot. I'm going to push our bot and get that tower over there. Uh, wait a minute. Was there a reason for that one? That's like a bronze play. That's pretty sad. Let's see. Kog'Maw's 3 and 4. So I guess he flashed in and... No, he didn't flash. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure what happened there. But this Pantheon is so killable right now. Nice, I got this. I cancelled his back, so I'm going to push this in. And he's not going to be able to do anything on the map at all. I might even be able to stop him. Okay, no, never mind. He went back. So I get to take this tower pretty much for free. Okay, maybe not. Ezreal can take Dragon, and I'll keep pressure at bot. I think that's a quite a solid plan. Pantheon can't 1v1 me now. Okay, I'll take tower. They just have to back away. Alright, that's a free tower. Very nice. So we're doing our job like perfectly right now. Let's get Infernal Drake. I see Pantheon top. I think we can sneak this one in. They're also going to think, oh, I should defend bot, you know. So if we could sneak this in, it'll be huge. I might be losing top tower, but it's super worth yeah, free Drake, very nice. I'm going to keep pushing bot. The important thing is, I really want to go back. I want to keep up the pressure. Uh, I think I can stop them from advancing on our team. Oh my god. Yeah, that didn't work out at all. They have too much map control. I want to go back because I have so much gold left over. Okay, so right now I have so much attack speed, I need to start building some AD so I can smack hard as well. Because right now I'm just smacking fast. Huh? Oh, Ardent Sensor. I didn't read the chat. <laughs> Okay, let's keep up the pressure, and hopefully they don't get engaged on here. So we have a Pantheon down here, that's an absolute free kill. As long as we can get him in a 1v1, it's a free kill, but I don't think he'll fight us. Okay, yeah, he's good, but I can't exactly dive him just yet. 
So if we can keep him bot, that's really important. I'll try to respond to this if I can. Oh, rip. I got two, but I think I missed Van into Nidalee. What the hell are they doing though? Hmm. I kept them all busy, all of them there, but my team still managed to die. That is so risky. Even though it worked out, the better play would just be to back away. Luckily, we pretty much shut down the Pantheon. Like, he didn't get any kills from us. He wasn't strong at all. So that's why it worked out for us. It's because I did my job. Man, that's a lot of farm. I'm greeting for this. Okay, so let's push out. It's a little bit scary because I don't have any more cloth armor. Hopefully, we've already outscaled to the point where we don't need it. But I still feel comfortable with cloth armor. It's just that we don't have it anymore. We're at we basically doubled the CS of him. Really insane. Okay. They're missing a mid, so I can't really fight. Oh, okay, wow. That is very strange to have Rift Herald at top. I should still be able to kill Pantheon, though. Okay, I just let my team know that Pantheon's missing and they could be getting altered on. Mm, God damn it. This Kog'Maw doesn't know anything about retreating. I hit really hard. Uh, I hit really fast. So, get another tower. Very nice. Let's back away. We don't see anyone right now. We could easily get Baron here. We could get Baron. Like, they're out there picking their noses. We could have rushed Baron. This siege isn't going to work. Okay, let's just keep pushing the side lane. We'll work towards our strengths and force Pantheon to come here. Because we want to separate and Pantheon wants to fight. Except his fight isn't really that strong either. I don't want to go one for one. I could easily kill Pantheon right there. Or, although Ash could ult onto me and he might actually survive. So there's a higher chance that I'll lose out on that ch exchange. I do have my Essence Reaver though. It's a very big purchase for me. Everyone's missing. You asshole. Okay, very nice. This should get their attention. But, oh my god, that's bad. I'm dead. To be or not to be. I did not, not expect to, to get hit there by Ash Arrow. Rip. Okay, so Ash is top, Pantheon is dead, and we got a shutdown over there on Brand. That's very nice. Even though Brand support usually feeds, so I'm so shocked that it's actually, you know, this fed. That's just disgusting. It means that my bot lane's not playing properly. And this game should have been won ages ago. Oh, speak of the devil. They go so ham, though. Oh, okay. Karma's busy. Let's see where Ash is. She could be around here somewhere. What the heck? Those Ash plays though, wow. But with Brand nearby, I can't really kill Ash until I dodge Brand stun. Okay, let's get some side pressure going. We're going to need it. All right, let's go in. Jesus, mom. 
Finish them off. What? What the hell was that? He just had to right click those guys. Oh my god, this cog is trolling. Oh my god. These guys really don't want to win though. This game was so one. This like a 4v5. This Pantheon's useless. That is so tilting though. That's actually tilting. We need to kill Ash. I think my job is Ash and Brand right now. The rest should be easy. So if I could do that for our team, then we should be good to go. Fuck you, asshole. Nice. We got the catch. Are they over chasing? I'll push a side lane out. I'm pretty useless with them. Oh my god. Not again. We need to end this game before Kog'Maw. I think this Kog'Maw is like bronze or something. It's really bad. But he's just an overpowered champion right now. Kind of like Sejuani. So that's why he's actually doing work. Is because he's just going super aggressive no matter what. The only thing we have going for us is because they picked Pantheon. That's the only reason we're winning. I will get one shot if I get hit by that, I think. How strong is Ori? Not too strong. I'll wait for my ult before I do anything crazy. Or else I will let her spear me and then she'll go in on me, then I'll just kill her. Oh, okay, wow. I did not expect a Pantheon there, and then by the time I saw that Spear, it was too late. I mean, how did that Pantheon even get there? He has Ignite. I guess he ulted. He ulted down. I should have seen that coming. That's my bad. missing I'm so willing to just end it oh. we can't never mind the minions are way too far okay back away they're alive I'm going to pressure top side now they should have Infernal Drake, no problem. So if the enemy ever slips up, then I'll be able to end them. But right now, they're sending three top. I have to watch that Ash Arrow, though. I have to be very careful of that Ash Arrow. They're over there. I'm hoping Pantheon's recalling here. Nope, he's not. We'll just continue pushing. Why are they always top? Damn. I'm so dead. I need a decay. Wow, we. Okay, good. But yeah, that was my bad for not backing away. I didn't see them come back to top so quickly. But you can see that Pantheon's completely useless late game, though. I absolutely freebie. Oh, yeah, GG, well played. That was really stressful though, I have to say. That was really stressful and I made a few mistakes. Over here most notably, and over here. Made two mistakes there. But it did get everyone's attention. Everyone just wanted to chase after me. So that's my job done. But my part of my job is also to survive. So if I was to replay that, would have backed away there. And I wouldn't have contested nearly there. I would have just backed really far away and probably just fought Pantheon if he ulted behind me. So those are things I would have changed up, but otherwise we played it really well up to that point. So GG well played.
thank you so much for watching to the very end. Okay, that's the end score screen, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.